Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is Upland Game Biologist, RJ Gross. RJ, you and your crews recently finished the spring pheasant crowing counts. Mm -hmm. First of all, tell our viewers, what are those counts? Yep, uh, we got about 100 routes that are spread across the state. Uh, they're 20 mile routes, and every, about every two miles, we stop, get out and listen for two minutes, and you count the amount of rooster crows that you hear. We do those year to year, and that's how we look at the index change, up or down, or the same from year to year. Um, it's not a true population count, so we're not counting every bird, it's just looking at the roosters, seeing how they came through the winter. We got some good news this year. Statewide, they're up 15%. Uh, through our main pheasant range, the northwest and the southwest, uh, they were up around 17 to 18%. Um, and then some interesting good news was the southeast, where we have good numbers of pheasants. They were the only really place that had a bad winter this year, you could say. So I was expecting a good amount of loss, and obviously we didn't have that. So it's, it's, it's good, good news. What is this data used for? So I mean, this is, this is basically, it's just another index that we have that we can use for conservation programs, such as CRP, and, you know, nesting, everything we can use it for. Um, we don't use it to go to look at how the fall is gonna be, but it's a, it's a good measurement to see how everything came through the winter. RJ, how did the nesting habitat look going into the nesting season? It looked really good. Um, as a lot of people remember, last fall was exceptionally wet, so there was a lot of residual moisture and there was a lot of um, grass that was left over from last year. So the, the grass this year grew up, there's lush, nice green cover. We've been a little dry, that's kind of concerning. Uh, we've gotten some rain. It's, you know, the first two weeks those chicks are hatching and our peak hatch in North Dakota is mid-June, right around June 15th every year. Um, it's gonna be interesting if there was enough insects for those, those first two weeks of those chicks. That's all they eat, that's what they need for development. Um, I'm hopeful with the amount of moisture that was left in the ground, the bugs could complete their life cycle and we had a decent hatch so we could get chicks to survive through. Okay, you mentioned a little bit ago, this isn't really to indicate the number of pheasants or roosters you're gonna see this fall. What survey do you guys do that, in, that gives you that yep. number? That's what, that's what we use our late summer roadside count for. Uh, we do those July 20th through August every year, and we count everything, every upland bird that we see, and we classify the chicks, how old they are, how many. And that's where we get, you know, our pheasant per 100 mile, broods per 100 mile, and our brood size. And those are what we use to determine how the fall is going to look. Okay, so we're heading in the right direction. We are, yep. We've been getting a lot of anecdotal reports of bigger broods, people seeing broods, um, even got some partridge brood that we've been hearing about already, so I'm hopeful. Okay, and habitat obviously is the key to yep. any nesting success. Yep. Habitat and weather, you know, we don't need any of those big hailstorms, really heavy rainfalls, the gully washers that can really take out chicks. So we've been good so far, so fingers crossed that it works out and we have a good fall. And when do you finish your brood surveys? Brood surveys through August, end of August will be So good. we'll have a better idea what the fall is going to look like early September? Yep, exactly. A lot of great information, RJ. Thank you. Thank you. Like RJ just mentioned, the upcoming pheasant brood count surveys that start in late July and run through August will give a better indication on how the fall hunting season is going to be for pheasants. For Upland Game Biologist RJ Gross and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.